As we move into fall, I am so ready for some really great soups. This is one of my favorites. My wife um, is gluten-free, dairy-free, Rhode Island clam chowder, no cream, and it does call for butter, but I substitute that with um, coconut oil. Turns out awesome. Let me show you how it's done. First thing is to start cooking our clams. These are all still on the shell. Um, I've gone through, washed them a couple of times in salt water, let them kind of purge out some of the sand that's in there. And we're just gonna put them into this double boiling pot. All right. And those will steam up real good, keep that pretty high. And uh, while that's doing that, let's cut some of our vegetables. First thing we're gonna prep is our leeks. I've got a couple of leeks here, and all of this up here is very fibrous on the leek. You don't wanna use that. Right where it starts to turn green transitions, right in the middle there where it's kind of yellow, just cut there. This is just the dry stuff nobody wants to eat. We'll cut off the end. You're gonna go and cut right through the middle, long ways. And then this can fan open a little bit. Six cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna take the stems off and chop them up. take a look at our clams and see how they're doing. Yeah, these are done, so we'll turn that off and just kind of whip this out, set it like that, let it drain for a few minutes. Large six quarts or larger cast iron pan. Get that heating up on medium heat. While that's coming up to heat, I'm going to uh, chop up probably uh, three stalks of celery. The last thing to chop up five strips of thick cut bacon and four links of smoked sausage, whatever kind you like. Um, this is Polish sausage. A little bit spicy, but not much. A pan is heated up. I've got everything chopped and ready to go. We're gonna start by cooking the bacon. Let's do it. I'm going to add the celery and the leeks, the potato, and two bay leaves, a couple sprigs of thyme. We're just gonna put all that stuff in there, get it uh, um, kind of sweating out, and we're also going to add in we haven't added any oil to this so far. It's just been from the bacon. Um, so I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. If you're not very free, you can just use regular butter, it's fine. After a couple minutes of sweating, the garlic, you stab that in. You don't want to add the garlic too early, otherwise it can burn. But once all the other vegetables are in there, they will help um, keep the heat from being too intense and burning the garlic. Now I'm ready to add my liquids to this. I have about a quart, eight cups of chicken stock, whatever, or broth, whatever uh, brand you like. I like um, the Kettle and Fire, this is not sponsored. Uh, bone broth it has a really rich flavor, um, but it's not like thick, like a lot of bone broths. It's uh, room, room temperature stable, so I always have some of this in my pantry. I also have one 
15 ounce can full fat coconut milk, two cups of clam juice. I'm going to add all of these liquids, see where we're at with our liquid level, and then I will use water to fill up the rest of the way. This is a pretty good level, but uh, it's going to simmer and reduce a little bit. The potatoes will soak up a lot of that liquid. So I'm going to add probably one and a half cups of water. Last thing, some fresh ground nutmeg, just a couple of inches of that. A chowder is um, typically a term used to refer to soups that are thickened with flour. Um, there's no flour in this, but to get some of that creaminess, I'm using coconut milk. You could just leave it out altogether. The world is your oyster or clam. <laughs> this has reduced down um, a little bit. And so what we're going to do now, we have our steamed clams, we'll set off to the side. This clam juice, this is where the clam chowder flavor really comes from. So you wanna make sure you get some of that into your soup. And we're gonna add probably three cups. I will say kale, not a traditional ingredient in Rhode Island soup, but neither is coconut milk and uh, it works super good. So we're gonna add it. Another ingredient is tarragon. This is um, optional. Goes really great with clams though. So I'm just going to pull off a bunch of these leaves on this stem. Doesn't I'm not gonna use all of it for sure. Just that and quick chop. Through. Last thing, a handful of parsley. Chop that up. If I were thinking, I would have taken the bay leaf and I guess there were three times then, so there's another one. Final ingredients, clams. I like to serve with the steamed clams. So I just keep them in the shell. Add that in there. Maybe a couple of clams still coming out of there. And then I also have one 15 ounce can of chopped, or no, whole baby clams. Um, just to add even more clamness into this. Oh snap, that's yummy. The smell of this is just phenomenal. It's so rich, the herbs, um, the coconut milk comes through just a little bit, but not in like a suntan lotion tropical way. It's just really, really good. And then the smoke from the sausage and the bacon, it just smells so good. And I think that anybody you feed it to, I think they'll really like it. Um, you can also add red pepper flake if you want to add a little heat, whatever you want to do. Um, give it a try and let us know how you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.